Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Astrology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be having a look at the appendix, which is an offshoot of the large intestine. So let's start the timer. So the appendix is uh, one of the sites in the gastrointestinal tract that has a permanent aggregation of malt. Now malt is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue and you can see these very basophilic regions within this structure here. So this is the appendix cut in transverse section, so here's the lumen and then we've got all of these very basophilic regions. These are the malt, the mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. Lots and lots of lymphocytes aggregated in these regions. And it's permanent aggregations of this malt that sort of disrupts a lot of this mucosa, which we um, typically associate with the large intestine. If we have a look at its structure in a little bit more detail, we can see why it's classified with the large intestine because it has a similar sort of structure as the large intestine with these simple straight tubular glands filled with lots of these goblet cells. So you can see these goblet cells here. And now all of these are lymphocytes. Um, if we sort of zoom out a little bit, we can zoom around and see little features of these uh, lymphoid follicles. So here we've got a what we call a secondary lymphoid follicle, which has a much more basophilic or darker staining outer ring, and then this paler region in the center here. This paler region here is known as a germinal center um, and indicates an area of these lymphocytes which have become activated. These are B cells which are now transforming into plasma cells. And as they undergo that transformation, their cytoplasm increases and therefore we end up with cells that look a little bit paler under the, the light microscope. So when a um, uh, part of the mucosa associated lymphoid tissue has been stimulated to produce antibodies, then you end up with this pale region here, this what we call a secondary follicle or a germinal center. And you can see that the, they can be quite abundant and that they can actually disrupt the normal sort of epithelial lining um, of um, this, the, the, the appendix. Um, so, but you can still again see when we do see the normal mucosa, it's very similar to the structure of a normal large intestine. You can see also that it extends down into the submucosa, so despite the fact that we refer to it as a mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue, it does extend down into the submucosa. So here we have got the connective tissue of the submucosa, we extend out, there's a blood vessel here, and then we've got a uh, tunica muscularis with an inner circular outer longitudinal layer. And if we keep going to the outside, we've got a, a serosa here on the outside with varying amounts of adipose and blood vessels and things like that. So those are the major take-home features of uh, the, the appendix. Um, very characteristic basophilic um, mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. When you do see the mucosa, it looks like the large intestine. So these are permanent aggregations uh, within the gastrointestinal tract. I hope you found that useful.